American flag mural now proudly adorns the north face of the Tampa Firefighters Museum. Museum President Matthew Cohan tells us how this came to be. We were approached by Tunnel to Towers um, because they wanted to leave a gift or a mark on the city of Tampa and its citizens um, because they came in Tampa to build a smart home for a wounded veteran, Sergeant Michael Nicholson. Um, we have a 9-11 exhibit with Stephen Siller's name, who is the gentleman they started their uh, Tunnel to Towers Foundation about. Um, they wanted to leave a gift, and this was their way of leaving a gift um, to the citizens of Tampa, thanking them for the help of building this smart home and putting on the uh, benefit concert um, for Sergeant Michael Nicholson. It took, it took three days to do the murals. Uh, Scott Lebedo came in town on Sunday evening, right away started sketching, got out of his car with a, a crayon and a big long pole and started sketching a flag on the building. Um, the next morning he came out, started at 8 o'clock in the morning and he was here till 6 painting and today he's uh, still here. Started at 8 o'clock this morning and uh, hopes to be done by 2. I think it's beautiful. It is a great gift. Um, we couldn't ask for anything more. Um, it's a great symbol of, uh, of patriotism and, and a great symbol of thanks um, from the Tunnel to Towers, from Scott Lebedo to Sergeant Michael Nicholson and the Tampa Firefighters. Muralist Scott Lebedo explains how he ended up in Tampa painting this beautiful flag. I've been painting flags for 20-something years, and uh, the Silla Foundation is in Staten Island, where I'm, I'm based. And 9-11 uh, hit Staten Island really hard. We lost more people than any other county, and uh, we still suffer from it. You know, it's still a horrible reminder. Um, so the Silla Foundation had seen me perform, did one of my performances uh, at a... Uh, at a show I had, and Frank Siller, the uh, founder of the organization, approached me and he said, you gotta do this thing. Gary Sinise is playing, we're raising money for uh, the veterans, and, I, and I'm like, I'm in, I, the veterans, I'm in, I'm in. And then uh, it just clicked, and so I just, uh, you know, I love doing it amongst, I mean, I paint flags everywhere, but I'm on their schedule this, this year for uh, about 10, 12 tours uh, to do my thing with Gary, and bang out some more flags for these guys. I didn't go to school for this, it's just something I was, you know, it's a gift and uh, my parents were very talented and, uh, you know, that's what I tell people, God gave me the gift, my, my, my parents gave me the talent and these guys like Mike give me the freedom to, to do it, you know, to express my, uh, my love. The American flag is the greatest work of art to me. I've seen every master or work of art face to face but the Star Spangled Banner is my favorite work of art. Sergeant Michael Nicholson lost both legs and a portion of one arm to an IED explosion in Afghanistan. How does he feel about the mural? Uh, I feel great. You know, people have been sending me pictures of it, you know, the whole time he's been painting, so uh, it's great to see the finished product. I didn't think it was going to be that big, uh, but, you know, it's, it, it says something a lot about the Tampa community, and, you know, we are a very patriotic community with McDill so close by, so uh, I think it's very fitting for us. This is Brian Sullivan reporting for Spotlight Tampa.